The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. Benevolent viewers, welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On this episode of the Stop Animal Cruelty series, we examine the origins of the swine flu that is causing pain, suffering, and loss of loved ones around the globe. In November 2008, well before this devastating flu epidemic, mycologist Paul Stamets of the United States, an advisory to the University of Arizona College of Medicine, USA, spoke to Supreme Master Television about the threat of a global pandemic arising from the raising of pigs. This is the, the scary scenario that most virologists are extremely concerned about. Uh, a pig, and a bird will infect a pig, both with flu viruses. In the pig, then the flu viruses can recombine, and that pig then can have a novel virus that will spread human to human. It's not just likely, it's extremely probable that pandemic flu will go human to human in the next 10 years. This is the biggest threat to biosecurity of nations throughout the entire world. The H1N1 swine flu strain descended from a virus first isolated in 1998 on a pig factory farm in North Carolina, USA. The H1N1 strain is a combination of bird, pig, and human flu viruses. Swine flu has been linked to factory farms where pigs live in absolutely horrendous environments. These innocent beings are treated as mere commodities as they are raised, viciously slaughtered, and their bloody carcasses then sold. At these facilities, where thousands of gentle pigs are jammed together in windowless sheds and are forced to stand ankle deep in their own excrement, disease spreads quickly. The sheer volume of animals confined to a small space in stressful and inhumane conditions means that once a virus enters a population, it is 100 times more likely to spread than in a free-range setting. Hans Creek, campaign director of the New Zealand-based animal protection group Save Animals from Exploitation, or SAFE, recently described a typical factory farm setting. Twenty thousand pigs live in what what are called sow stalls, and these are pregnant pigs, and they are kept in crates. And the crates are so small that the animal can't even turn around, so the pig can only stand up and lie down. They're just standing in a bare concrete pen, crammed in. You would just not believe how many pigs you can cram into a pen, and because this is out of sight, out of mind, it just carries on. Dr. Michael Greger, a physician who is the Director of Public Health and Animal Agriculture for the Humane Society of the United States, 
Comments on the Swine Flu Factory Farm Connection. The only other time we've ever seen a swine flu virus like the one we now face, a triple hybrid mutant containing pig, human, and bird genes, was on a factory farm in North Carolina in 1998. 5,000 breeding pigs crammed together in these metal stalls so tight they can't even turn around, can barely move. You know, we have thousands of animals crowded in these filthy football field-sized sheds to lie you know, snout to snout in their own ways, it can be a, a breeding ground for disease. So the only other time we've seen a triple hybrid swine flu virus emerge was on a factory farm. So certainly it's reasonable to, um, to speculate and to um, search for a, a similar emergence from a factory farming operation in Mexico. Swine flu was first identified in the 1930s. However, for decades, the virus stayed within the pig population and rarely made the jump to humans. With the extensive international air links that now exist that can take one practically anywhere on Earth, and the ease of transportation on the ground as compared to the last century, the virus is spreading quickly to all corners of the globe. Dr. Neil Bernard, the president of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, which is based in the United States, explains how the factory farm raising of birds is connected to pigs and the spread of influenza. We have to think of, of a factory farm as a place where you have an enormous number of animals each one of whom acts like a mixing bowl for viruses. Birds are the ultimate source of influenza viruses when a bird virus then gets into a pig farm, as happens quite easily. Then the pig's body is like a mixing bowl where new viruses are formed from the older viruses. And if you don't have pig farms, then uh, there is much less possibility of new viruses forming. If we had no pig farms at all, you could get rid of influenza. You'd have to get rid of chicken farms as well because it can be, it can be borne by birds too. But uh, this peculiar habit of eating animals, unfortunately, is creating a lot of health problems. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. When we return, we will discuss more about the tie between abhorrent and cruel factory farms and the rise of swine flu.